and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be filming a curly hair tutorial. Um, I've already tried to film this and it didn't go too well. Um, so I'm hoping that this one does come off better. Now, as you can see my hair is growing quite a lot. It's at that weird stage of being lopsided um i'm going to the hairdressers next sunday so literally um a week away now and i can't wait because my hair wasn't cut in like an asymmetric pixie style it's growing out and it's not really followed any shape because it was meant to be a lot shorter so i have been struggling with ways to style it for a week i've just been like pinning it off my face um, obviously it's a weekend and i did want to do something a little bit different with it. I miss my volume and I miss my texture in my hair, but as it's longer, it's harder to sort of keep that texture and volume in place. Um, as you can see, my hair is quite fine. I do have a lot of hair, but that doesn't really help volume-wise. But anyway, um, I let it air dry for like an hour, and then I have just blasted it quickly to finish it drying with the hair So it's just straight, you know, nothing, nothing special. I've not done anything with it. Um, so we're going to go on to curling it first. Now I've got my trusty GHG straighteners. Um, I prefer using these two curlers because I don't burn my fingers and they have curved edges anyway. So you won't get like um, a straight kink to it. So, we're going to give this a go. First thing I'm going to do is just section, like, the top of my hair. Ooh. So, I want this section, the one I'm going to curl first. And... I'm going to follow the side parting I've got, but just give it a bit more of a parting, if that makes sense. Actually, I think this is just going to get in the way, so I'm going to get rid of that. I think I'm just going to section it with my fingers. So I'm getting the, the top section, and I'm going to do alternate curls, so I'm going to curl it one way, and in the next section I'm going to curl the other way. So this section is going to go over. So I'm just wrapping it around like that. So you can see it's quite a, quite a tight curl. That's better. So one way and then the other way. I'm pulling the curve through my hair like you would if it was long. Right, so the top section is sort of done. So I'm just going to just section that off like that. And I'm going to work in layers now. Okay. As you can 
crazy because I'm really starting to film. As I go, I'm using the silver cream pink maximum hold. A little bit of hairspray. I don't want all my fringe to be down on this next section. T shirt. Okay. It's always a good idea to leave your straighteners like swim there. I find the curls always are better when I do that. And so you're creating like quite tight, quite tight curls like this. I'm gonna do this side after, so don't worry about that. So sectioning off again. I think I will probably go over these as well. Just gives it a little bit more hold. on this side. I will touch up a few of those um, top layers where I've done this side. I mean, so I've sort of seen how it looks on top. But it's looking really curly. Really good. So, just... Oh, 
with a sign on the side. So Carl's towards your face, Carl's away from your face. It's kind of more of a like a wave to be honest. With the length being so short. some of these to come like towards my hoops. No, you poop. Oh, no, you say. There we go. I've got the curl in the end. Also take like big pieces and small pieces for a curl. You don't want your curls to be like all the same size. I think that's what helps like make it look like realistic and stuff. So just bear in mind, you know, when you're curling. Right, so I'm going to this top section now, and I want my curls to really have like no like parting so I'm gonna go like back some ways I'm gonna try and sort of cover my parting by curling upwards so like some will go up and back some will go up and round you know literally like lifting from the root On this top section here. Ooh, off that one. Okay. I feel like I look a bit like Annie Mac, which is always a vibe. Look who else loves, loves a bit of Annie Mac. Her hair is incredible. She's a queen of cools, isn't she? So I'm literally creating a really graphic kind of vibe. And now I'm just getting in. I'm just trying to get rid of my parting really. You think that bit can have a bit of bounce? So I'm just going to go, so I can't see the back, so it's really hard. I'm just going to there. Really hard to do. So I'm just going to try and wave. Okay, and then I'm literally just going to tease. How big it's looking. I'm gonna like tease it out, but I'm gonna pop a bit of the L'Oreal. This is the Stylista, the um, Pixie Cream Wax, and this is just gonna help give my hair, you know, the curls and definition. So just got on my fingertips and just. Running it through like my 
had a computer. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Okay. I might play with this for my bat. Now, just gonna get a wipe for my fingers. Pin it like that. Okay, so once the scarf's in place, I'm just going to go push that into the middle. some like little bits like this hanging down to make sure they're cold. Look, keep it open. Like this. Just have more and more little curls. Then I'm going to use the got to be hair spray. I'm sure I just want to put a little bit of hair just in my scarf. On the back there. Okay. And I'm gonna just So there we go guys, cool, cute, crazy, hope you enjoy.